Hey everybody, this is Captain X24 bringing you guys uh, the last world of Super Monkey Ball 2. Probably gonna be the last video I make of this game. I don't know, maybe some random stuff. But last, last episode of story mode. Uh, let's start out with training. It gives this level an 8 out of 10, which is like a joke. Like, unless you take the hard route, it is not an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Oh, whoa, 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 that feels laggy. Boom, done. See that? Easy. First try. I don't know. It's responsive enough. Gimmick. I'm not a fan of this level, actually. Maybe it's just me, like, feeling weird. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't super responsive. Uh, like, this level... I don't know. A lot of the levels in this world... Are kind of made like mazes. Okay. Oh man, this is not. It's not okay. I'm gonna need to like. I might need to stop the recording and start again because this is. <laughs> no, this is. Oh, I screwed that up. All right, let's try this again once more with feeling. Oh, this feels much better. Yeah, I think there's like a small, small lag between my actions and the. Or my like inputs and the actions I would see, and like in Super Monkey Ball, like that's not a. Oh, that was <laughs> right the angle you don't want to get, but still pressing the button. Like it's just like, seriously, it bounced. I hit like the front of the button and bounced off. It was kind of cool, but enough of me screwing around. Like I, th I really want to actually just get done with this level because this level sucks. See, like that. Oh, 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 oh. That actually, actually hit the button. Wait till you're like about even heights with that, and then you can build up some speed. Sometimes you can use the button to jump even. Um, yeah, and you like go around here. Like this is like actually like walk through of this level because seriously, like this level just needs a walk through. It's like there's no other way around it. And then you turn left here and then just like wedge your way up the step. There you go. If you have some speed, like that was not even a problem. And then kind of eh, your way up the slope. Just, like, don't worry about the time, because if you freak out about time, like, you will screw up. There we go. Like, you, I don't know. I think the most time I've ever finished this level is like five seconds left. Mountain. Mountain's a stupid level. Like, I honestly, like, I think this level just sucks. I know that if you kind of aim a little bit, like here, like at this time, like, you'll get the goal. Is that? Because I tried it once, I'm just like, oh, I hate this level, I'm gonna have to work on timing. Like, no, this level's, like, easy. It's, like, easy but hard. Like, because you see, like, it's easy to screw it up. Oh, oh. But, like, there's nothing really, like, hard about it. It's not, like, a level that takes, like, skill. Like, a lot of skill. In my opinion. It just, you know, you just get the banana, if you don't even have to. And then, like, kind of try not to screw up. Like, it's simple. Simple concept. You know. See that? It took a couple tries, but, like, it's easy. It's, I don't know. I think that level sucks. A lot of these levels are, like, mazes. Disorder. Oh, Disorder is fun. 9 out of 10. Eh, maybe. I can't remember the last time I've done this level normally. It's not even that hard to do normally. Usually I do something like this, though. Bounce there. Try and get myself in the goal. And I honestly, like, if I were you playing this game, like, at home, like, that's how I would do it. Unless you're trying to, like, beat story mode without dying, which seems silly because you have infinite lives. Um, and the game doesn't count how many times you died, I'm pretty sure. Like, I would just do it that way. It's, like, they just... You'll take, like, six seconds to beat it, and it'll take you a bunch of tries, but, like, it's doable. I assure you that it is doable. Um... Like, this is, like, the world record strategy. It's, like, just wedge your way in there. And, like, I've done it plenty of times. I could... I don't know. I could even try doing it normally. Like, I think the levels in... Oh, that was interesting. I, like, the ball that bursts. The levels in World 10 have kind of crummy design, I think. Like, some of them are good, but it's, like, I don't really enjoy... Besides, like, training and sort of this one, I don't really enjoy any of the levels. And the only reason I enjoy this one is because it's a really easy, like, jump. See? Boom, there's nothing to it. 
Um, 3D Maze, I'll come back to in a bit. 8 out of 10? Eh, I think it's a little harder. Labyrinth, I just don't remember how to do that one. Postmodern, and 7 out of 10, I don't know. That was kind of tough, it sucks. Like, half of these, like, mazes. Revolution's a hard level, I don't care what anyone says. Like, it's hard for the wrong reasons. Invisible's a cool level, it's really cool. And create advice pretty easy. Like, this world, like, seriously, this world is, like, easy compared to, like, what we've been through. Like, World 9 wasn't, like, terrible. World 8 was, like, bad. World 7 was, like, eh. Yeah, like, World World 8 is, like, the hump of the whole game. It's just, like, once you get past it, like, it gets easy. This level is just, like, wait for us to go low. Oh, I think I, I mistimed it. I need more speed. I tried this for practice, and like it took me one try, grand total. So it's just, it's not hard. Especially since it, once you've gotten to this point, like obviously you've got some practice in you. Like even if you did it in different segments, like super different like segments. Okay, okay, I remember now. The goal is not, yeah, don't go fast, don't launch yourself. The goal is slow and steady on this stage. But it's easy. Like, I just say this, I've screwed up four times. Like, you gotta take my word for it. Like, I've beaten this stage a bunch of times. Um, and I beat it, like, in one try early. So, alright. A little bit of speed to get on there. And kind of, oop. Needed more speed. There we go. And just, simple as that. Right, what else is here? Uh, what do I not feel like doing that much? Eh, I could do invisible. Invisible's not terrible. This is one of those where view stage is like, godsend. Because some of the tiles are in, like, they turn invisible. But they're there, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have a great memory, like, the stage becomes easier too. And one that I always screw up on is like, here the end. I don't know where exactly things go. I know, like, that banana is kind of guiding sight. And let's see, view stage. Oh, that's not the end, it's the V. I think. Is it? Yeah, that's the V. I think that banana might be a tease. Um, is it the I? Some of the letters are kind of mashed together. If this is the S, then I need to go here and new stage again. Okay, I'm gonna go a little farther. Ooh! If I could do it faster too, that would be good. Cause that that took a while. I was at like I think 16 seconds left or something. Okay, I need more time than that. This is really weird with the S, how it's like, that whole chunk is invisible. Oh, is it going like rave colors on me? Wait, what? Okay. I need to go turn a different point. Okay, I guess I went like a lot faster than uh, previous runs on that, but okay. Cool. That wasn't that bad. 
Alright, what do we have left? Uh, four levels. Food maze, revolution, I hate revolution. Labyrinth, eh. Postmodern, I'll do it. For some reason, postmodern is that one level that I always remember from this world. Uh, that and, uh, whatever 10-4 was. The one that was like, just trick your way into the goal because it's an easy level. This level is just a pain. Like, the whole level is just go upstairs. Which is, like, difficult to do. And, like, that's the challenge of the level. Like, time is... Of, time is of the essence. And careful not to fall off. Like, especially there. Oop. Or you will undo a lot of work. And then if you get stuck, you're, like, you're screwed. So just restart, because, like, there's no point. I think if you're really good at tricking upstairs, you can, like, shortcut this, but it's, like... Ah. It's, I hate this level. <laughs> like, it just sucks. It's not even that hard. Once you figure out what to do, it's like, oh, you're really gonna make me do that. Like, yes. Yes, we are. Because, I don't know. Again, this is where, like, the, I don't like the game design level in World 10. Like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, World 10 just really sucks. It's all like maze levels and tedious levels. There aren't a lot of like s like super skill levels. Okay, I lied. Yeah, there are some super skill levels, but like like warp is like a super skill level, and I can't, I simply can't deny that. You have to just be good. Uh, like this, you, there's not like much skill in it. It's like you go at it with a little bit of speed and like some directional influence. Ah, don't do that. A level like gimmick, like there's just like no skill in gimmick. It's just go do it. Like it's so such a boring level, especially since it takes almost a whole minute that it gives you. Yeah, whatever. I'm not screwed yet. I'll just come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So the thing, if you like lose your momentum on this level, like have fun. Just, you, congrats, you lost. Ah, like see. It's just awful. Like this terror. It's just this shitty design. Like, don't do that. At least the music's good. This is like weird dance mix feel. This is, might be the hardest staircase to go up. I don't even remember like what's the best way to go about that. Ah, this one staircase is like the hardest part of the whole level too. After that, like it's and one more staircase, which is like easy. Okay, I think I got it this time. Oh, just let me up the one stair. Oh, is there really another? You're really gonna make me do another. It helps if you jiggle from side to side. And then I really just don't want to screw that up. Please tell me I can make that drop safely. Oh man. There we go. I'm done with this level. This level sucks. I'm getting like no points from this world. The most points I've gotten when playing through this game is like a lot more than this. I think I went for a lot of bonus goals though. That's how I got a ton of them. And like tons of stunts. Uh, let's try 3D Maze. 3D Maze is probably like the most skill based level in this world, and it might be the hardest level in this world. That or Revolutionize. Revolutionize is like a hard level for the wrong reasons. This level, like, you need to just balance well, and it, it feels like momentum, or you need to like wedge yourself onto a tight space. I hate that. I really, really hate that. That's my least favorite part of the level, Momentum. Other than that, like, it's a really cool level. It, f it feels a little bit like Mad Shuffle, but like, I don't know. The h seriously, I think the beginning part of this level is the hardest part. And I've just screwed it up like five times. I'm also... I think this is supposed to be like part of like a set with like Flat Maze, because that was like, oh, Flat Maze? This one's 3D Maze. But there's another one in, like, in this world called Labyrinth. Really? Labyrinth. 
making mazes and labyrinths. That's the theme of the world. Oh no, oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It flips around the other way. I'm not 100% sure if that's the one I'm supposed to get behind, but I think it is. Like, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. And here's where the camera just, like, fails you. So it's just like, oh, you're screwed. Okay, you go on this bit. And I have no idea what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to get back behind that piece again. Or not. Like, I don't even... You stay. Like, what, what even is going on? You know, I can't keep that pan in one spot. I don't know. If I could get on top of, like, the huge piece, that would be pretty ideal. Where am I? Okay. What is this piece? Oh, that is flat. Okay. Alright. You know what? Uh... I feel like there's a better way to do it. I feel like you can just... Because I looked at it in the view stage, and I feel like if you just launch yourself somewhere like there, you can make it. I, I'm not 100% sure. I may try it normally again, but hopefully I can pull that off. If I can... If, I could, if it was just easier to get onto here, I can still only do that at like 50% consistency, which is really annoying. Oh, great. oh man, yeah, I, I looked it up just to just to check, make sure I wasn't like wasting my time. It's been done like that. So, I know that much. Labyrinth and Revolution. Ugh, I'm not a fan of either of these stages. Revolution, I notice half the time, like sometimes I'm using strategy and sometimes I'm seriously just flinging myself around and hope I make it. Like, you'll see what I mean as soon as I play that stage. Labyrinth sucks. So like, in my practice runs, I don't want to say practice runs, but like, when I tried out this stage like, earlier, I basically just went and learned the path, because seriously, like, you, no one wants to watch me, like, trial and error my ass through this level, like, this level sucks. <laughs> it's just a huge pain, like, there's no fun in it. The hardest part is probably, okay, there are two hard parts to this level, and that jump that I'm trying to make is one of them. Let's see if I can build up enough speed, maybe. Like, this, that jump is like half luck, too. Which is stupid. 53. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you go this way, and you go up this ramp, and then you go down. Oh, damn it. It's a later one. Awesome. Awesome. This is probably gonna take me like at least one try. Probably like two tries to do that one really hard part. Ah, it's not enough speed. There we go. Okay, take this turn. Go up here. Yada yada. Don't be an idiot like me. And go down here. And now this is the pink zone that we need to get to. I think it's up here. Yeah, this, this is it, and then try and just get enough speed to make that, like, that's that's the only goal, for, and this, it's hard, but it's doable, it sucks, but it's doable, it's hard, but it's doable, Ugh. I feel, I'm making these sounds like as if, like, I am the monkey, unless I don't make it, okay, yeah, I'll retry.
Oh, that was nice. I slid right over. Uh, okay, don't take that right. Take this right. Come on. Let me just. Let me just. Uh, yeah. Uh, you gotta like angle yourself just right with enough speed, and only then will you make it. This banana's a tease. I want it though. Like this is this is stupid. Like why would you why would you make this part of a legitimate level? Oh man, and now I might Okay, I'll make it. That wasn't that bad. I feel like Revolution is always the level I do last for some reason. Because I remember distinctly in like at least one other file, Revolution was the level I did last. I've beaten story mode. I think this is probably the third or fourth time. I don't know, let's see. I think you can like go on one of these poles or something. Again, normally I try and find myself like flinging around, but I know one of these poles, and I know the goals back here. I didn't really practice this level much. But I think if you make it to that pole, and if you can climb up that pole, I think you're I think you're good. If like if that's that easy, like then I lied about this level being hard, but uh. It's still annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, yes! Oh! It was that easy! That's... It's really nice! Okay, cool. Yeah, like 42 minutes raw footage. Oh well. Alright, come on. Let's finish up these cutscenes. I have no... I don't even remember at all like how the story resolved itself. I don't even remember the laser beam charging. Okay, I think all the bananas just like come down now or something. The monkey village. I don't remember how this. Ah, yes, the classic cartoon holes in the ground made by people. There's no space in between those sentences. I like how even now they managed to like mix in the little dance sequence. That was a fun ending. I think there's more of this. Like I think does it let me play the Oh, I think it lets me play the credits game. This is my favorite part about Super Monkey Ball. I think even 3D had this, which was like a nice redeeming factor. I don't remember for sure. But like Super Monkey Ball games tend to have a game you can play with the credits. Where you just try and get bananas and not hit people's names. It's actually really hard in the first one. To like not hit people's names. Like you will hit it at some point. This one's not so much. Let's see if I can do well. Okay, I get the stars. I'd like to get all the stars. I think there's a bonus for it. I've played the credits so many times. Oh, there we go. That like subtracts some bananas. I think each letter takes off two. One or two. Ah, shucks. Oh, well. I know big bananas are also lucrative. 
they're like some separate bonus. I think they're also worth a 10 each. Obviously, I'm not like fantastic at this, but you know, who's practiced like the credits game so much that they're just like unbelievably good at it? I don't know. I'm sure someone has. I should like I should really take that back because I'm sure someone has. Mono, all big bananas. I admittedly I almost never read the names of it. I read like the last two names because it's just like I'm too busy focusing on the bananas. Oh well. Maybe my subconscious is absorbing it. Absorbing it. You can just ask me someday, who are the artists for Super Monkey Ball? And I'll name them all because in the back of my mind. No, totally not. I'll just say some Japanese names. I hope that's the case. You get like a rating for how many bananas you got too. I think my record overall is like 1300 or something. I don't remember. I, I know it is pretty high, but like... Well, I don't know what, how high you can get. You can probably get like 2,000 to be perfect. This is the sequence at the end where it's just like, go nuts. Unless there's a first one where I'm 1,300. I don't know. I feel like for some reason that number sticks out in my mind. So I think that's what I had. Oh, it's not over yet. Okay. Yeah, so it's 1,300 is totally like, feasible. I thought that was like the last bit, I was like, oh, I'm like, like 700 already. That's not a lot. Because I know at the end, it's just like a big... It's a lot of them, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of bananas. Man, I love this. This is just like a nice touch to put in the game. Like, it's, oh, you beat the game, but it's to have, have some more fun. I think this appears even after beginner in, uh... Oh yeah, all the Dole Foods Company, just because all the bananas have a Dole logo. Which is admittedly like the only thing I'm going to particularly remember from like Dole. Like, when I think of Dole, I honestly think of like Super Monkey Ball. I don't remember this chunk. Oh. Did I already get all the stars in the bana big bananas? Oh, almost a thousand. Raw, let's see. I think I got some bonuses. Plus 100, plus 100. Yeah, 1300 sounds about right as a record, I guess. I, I don't know where all the ratings are. I really am curious, actually. But I think everything, like, I think every 100 or 50 or so is different. So there we go. Super Mario Ball 2. A lot of raw footage, but, uh,. Not a, like a ton, a ton of uh, overall footage. But still, hope you guys enjoyed. I think this is a short cutscene at the end. Is it gonna make me put in my high score or something? No, probably not. Oh yeah, now like bananas fall from the sky. Does make me put in my high score. Alright, let's see this. Second, yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys whenever when something with something else. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll have a video. You know, if I can keep up like a daily or every other day thing, that'd be sweet.